Hey, hello and welcome back to the channel. I've got something interesting for you today. What we're going to do is we're going to take the Ionic Intro to View JS camera app that they reference on the website, written by Matt, and we are going to add Firebase to it. The fascination that people have with Firebase is mind boggling, but um, it seems to be something people like to see. So I'm just going to take a Firebase service that I've implemented before. I'm going to integrate it into the app. I'm going to allow you to save your photos and retrieve your photos and delete your photos. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy the content I'm putting out and let's get to the Firebase overview. Uh, well, okay. We're now we're going to take a look at the uh, Firebase service that we're going to use to support reading and writing the photos to the uh, Firebase backend. In this example, we're just going to save the databases. I mean, excuse me, we're just going to save the photos in a collection. And maybe in the next video, we'll do a combination of uh, metadata about the photo in a collection and then actually save the photo in storage. So since we're going to save the photo in the um, database collection, we're going to have to convert it to a base64 string which luckily the um, example that we're basing this code on already does that. So um, also one other point here, I have a previous vid video which covers um, creating this Firebase service in much more detail. I'll include a link below. So I'm just gonna go over this very, very quickly. And if you need uh, more detail, please check out the other video. Uh, starting at the top, um, I'm using the environment file net. That's where I have my um, Firebase project ID stored. We are going to store a collection of photos, so I'm keeping track of it. I'm keeping a local collection of the photos that I've uh, loaded right here. Um, so I'm using this ref. This is an array of them. Any errors are generated, the errors will be placed here. And when I'm loading, we'll set a loading flag. I try to keep my Firebase stuff very general. So here, um, you provide a name of a collection that you want to retrieve all the data, and this retrieves the data. We take all the data that you get back. Um, and then we also take the ID and then we create a new object. You get a list of those objects and results. We set loading to false and then the results get sent back. Um, is, you're using async, so it's going to return a promise and the promise is going to contain all the results. Like I said, I'm going a little fast because I already have all this covered in more detail in another video, which is linked below. This get doc, this get collection doc takes a specific collection name, a specific ID, and then it will return the document that it finds. Following the same process as above here, where we get the data and then we get the ID. So we get the data and we get the ID. This is a, a, a kind of helper function that I've created that has the photo collection uh, defined already, which we have done up here. And uh, just makes our call and returns the data. What we want to do is on the mount of this service, we will load all the existing photos. Uh, we also pass the function back um, because I think we're going to try to integrate a pull to refresh. Another helper function here where you can get a specific photo just passing in the ID of the photo. And then we have our properties, which is the array of photos, whether or not we're loading, or whether or not it's an error. Once again, I said I went through this kind of quickly because we already have a video on this. Um, but this is the base uh, service that I am going to be utilizing to save the photos to Firebase. All right, now let's switch back to the uh, code where we're actually capturing the photos. All right, let's get started with the code. So uh, we're in the use photo gallery from the original source code from the Ionic View demo, which is linked below. And we're gonna start by um, importing our um, Firebase service that we uh, referenced in a previous section of the video. So let's start at the top. Uh, we have the Firebase service, we've imported it. And then now, as you know, we need to get access to all the functions that are in it. So similar to the way how we have this use photo, use photo gallery and we can access the functions in it, we're gonna do it with the Firebase service. And we're gonna change the names to match, you know, the functions and the properties that we just went through previously. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna load all of the photos and we have two functions. We have the load photos function, which actually loads them. And then we have the photos which actually returns the photos. We need to clean up the uh, interface because our interface is a little bit different. So the default interface will be the data, the file name, and the ID. Okay, so that should get rid of our errors, type of errors. And next we need to change the local property gallery to gallery photos. And we're gonna take the photos that we get returned and we're gonna assign it to gallery photos. And that should get us what we want to get the photos loaded. All right, now we're back to um, saved file save file is going to hold the file object that we want to save 
um, to Firebase. So now let's remove this because we don't need it. And uh, let's get back up, see where we are. We have our photos, we have our low photos function, but we need to save photos. We don't have that. So let's get back to our Firebase service and let's create that function. So we're, we're gonna call this function write collection. And as you know, our, our standard collection is called photos. So write collection is gonna be a pretty straightforward uh, call to Firebase using the collection that we've defined and then the data that we pass in. So we're gonna set the collection name to any and then the da uh, data we set to any. We're not gonna be too strict with types here. And then we're gonna just use a pretty straightforward uh, Firebase call. We get the collection, actually not the collection. We get a collection doc. We pass the data in. Firebase will generate an ID and save it. And then we're setting all of our loading and our errors and our appropriate values. Um, we will, we don't care about what's coming back here because what will happen is you'll just call load photos to load the data back in. We're gonna return true from the uh, collection, I mean from the function when successful and false when it fails. Let's put a little comment on it. Let's add it to the bottom so that it's getting returned from our service. We'll create a helper function called save photo. And for that, you need to pass the data. We already know what the collection is. So we'll just call this write collection document. We'll pass the data in and that should be good to go. Now uh, let's get back and let's actually use it to save some photos. Looks like we have some generic errors that are being generated because of uh, the uh, AS lint on the TypeScript. So let's kind of go through and just clean a couple of these up. Um, it's uh, expecting a promise of a photo, but we're not returning that. We're just returning a Boolean. Also, we're not even saving it, but let's take that save file object that we created. And that's what we're gonna pass to our function that we have in our Firebase service. And then that, as I said, just returns a boolean. We're saying return, and yeah, there's our error. So let's set that to boolean. And okay, what other errors do we have that we can fix while we're in here poking around? Looks like there's nothing else to take care of. So let's um, actually get the values back from our photos. So after you take a photo, we wanna make sure we reset it. So let's call load photos to get the photos back after a photo is taken to make sure that we are getting the most recent set of photos. Okay, um, yeah, we wanna call it first and because remember load photos doesn't actually return the photos. So that's the right way to do it. Okay, now we still have a couple of files that we don't need. We don't need to delete photos, so let's kind of move that out. We don't need the cache photo, so let's clear that out of there also um, because we're just loading by default after every action. Um, let's see. Now, what do we got? We have some more errors. Let's reduce the size of this font so we can see what these errors are. Um, we don't need that. We don't need that. Um, you can fast forward past this cleanup if it's uh, ignoring you, but I'm just trying to be thorough in the work that we do as we clean everything up. All right, now let's fix that Boolean error. What else? These ES lint these annoying, uh, annoying space error. So let's remove the space down here. And we got one last one. Oh, I don't, I did not load Firebase. So let's install Firebase, get that thing loaded up and let's hop back in and see what we can do while Firebase is loaded. Okay, delete photo needs a parameter. So let's set delete photo, delete photo set. We needed to blur some stuff out here because my Firebase key was showing. Okay, I apologize about that. All right, now we're back. Uh, we have to take photos, we're loading our photos. We get our result back from our photos and then um, <clears throat> we update the UI. But what I realize is that I'm not actually saving the picture in the take photo. So let's add my save picture function. And um, remember we're gonna pass in to save picture, the camera photo and the file name. Cause those are the key pieces of data that we need to actually create the object that we're saving to Firebase. And remember that that also returns a promise. So, Let's see what we got now. Let's go back to our photo. Let's try and take a picture. Oh, there I am, I'm smiling. Not really. Uh, photo. Hmm. Reload. Hmm. Not what I expected. Let's go back, let's try another photo. Save. Um, let's see what we're getting. I put some breakpoints in there. Looks like we're getting a photo now. Okay, what the problem was, um, what I ended up 
find you know, what I found that it was was that I think let's see if we're gonna get an error. Yeah, we're getting an error. Let's see what is my error. The error is no permission. So hold on while I go fix my Firebase permission. I'm gonna cut a little bit out of the video here while I go handle that. All right, I'm back. We have our permission set. Now let's take a photo and see what we get. Mm -hmm. Let's reload. Now let's ch check and see, did we get any data back on my reload? Um, still nothing. Let's see. Ah, there's a problem. I don't have the, I'm not looking for the proper value. Remember, we change it to data now. So let's run it again. And there's my picture. Okay. Let's, um, let's try and take it some more pictures because we want to get a list of photos back. Here's another picture. Peace sign for y'all. Let's see what we get. And so we get our peace sign, but it got cut off. Peace sign got cut off, but that was a new photo. And just to make sure, we're going to put the glasses on for this photo and see what we get. All right. So you see the glasses on the top, so we know it's actually working. They're real photos. There's no magic here. Um, it's working as expected. Photos are getting saved to collection. The collection is getting reloaded, and we're rendering them in the UI. Okay, what we have left to do, we have to actually do the delete photo. Because remember, the goal here is to take the existing application and just add Firebase to it. So, delete photo. And I don't recall there being a delete photo in the original implementation. So let's go back to our Firebase service and add a delete photo. We're following the pattern of adding these little helper functions here. Um, so we're going to call this delete photo. And to delete a photo, all you need is the ID. We're going to call it, we're going to, our generic function, we're going to call remove collection doc. And for that, you need the collection, which is our photo collection, and you need an ID, which is ID, and we will pass that ID in. When we, sometimes you tell us and it just gets in the way. And that ID is a type string. So now let's go back up and add a function. So we're copying from the get collection doc. We're just going to make a mod minor modification. Um, we'll rename it to remove. And um, in Firebase, when you get a collection to delete it, you just get, it's like you normally get the doc. So you use the doc ID and then you just call delete on it. And if it's successful, it will return true. If it's not, it returns false. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. And actually, if, if it fails, it will throw an exception. And that's what the catch is on the bottom and we'll return the error value. And we return false if it fails and true if it's successful. So now let's um, wrap this up. I think that's it. Yep. Uh, delete photo. Why, cause I, why am I getting an error? Oh, we already have a function called delete photo. So let's, let's rename the local function to delete from gallery to stick with our gallery theme here. Okay, and then pretty straightforward, we just call our existing function that, sorry, we call our function from our Firebase service called delete photo. Probably should rename our Firebase service to Firebase photo service. But, um, and then we'll pass the ID from the object that we get sent. And then, why is it complaining? It's expecting a type string. Let's see, go back, what do we got? Delete photo, delete photo from gallery. So we make sure we use the right function. And then we need to change that name also. Leave photo from gallery. Is it complaining? Let's go back. Oh, I didn't return it. I didn't, I'll see a wrong name. Let's set the right name. Um, let's, nah, let's keep it simple. Okay. Um, now we're back to delete photo issue. Um, boom, boom, boom. Delete photo. Use photo gallery. I think it just, I didn't save. Let's go back and save the file. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Now let's see what we got before we wrap this guy up. Um, delete photo from galleries there. Not, and it returns a result. Let's try and do a little bit better with our error handling here. So just in case it fails, we're going to throw an exception. And we're going to do... Oh, two things. A, we need to actually, we're going to call load photos to kind of update everything again.
And then now we're going to uh, throw an alert error if there's a problem. Okay. And then let's do the same thing above. All right. So we're going to catch the error and don't alert error if we see a problem. And delete from gallery. So let's delete. 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 And reload to, show, to make it positive that everything's been deleted. Let's add some comments. Well, after the comments, I think that's about it. So really, the objective here was just to show how to add Firebase to save the photos from the um, Info to Vue.js sample that's provided by the Ion Framework team. And that's what we accomplished. Um, maybe if I get some more questions asked, I'll add authentication and maybe show how to store it into Firebase storage also. But I wanted to keep this one short, straight to the point. Um, I like to keep the videos uh, this way. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe, share with your friends, leave comments below, all the other good things. Take care and enjoy the holidays. Bye.